Finding an extra room or a secret room sounds exciting until you find it in your newly bought house. There are only two possibilities here. First, you get a cool hidden room that you can transform into literally anything where you find something you'd rather live without. From a room with a dark secret to the room of a possibly cursed doll, here are 20 hidden rooms that should have stayed hidden. Number 20. You found it. Purchasing a new home for your family means a fresh start, but in the case of the Brown family, buying a foreclosed five-bedroom house in Greenville, South Carolina started a nightmare. While renovating their home, they discovered a secret behind one of the bookcases, a concealed space. Up to this point, nothing was really amiss. They decided to open the hidden chamber and were surprised to see a letter. Any guesses about the letter's contents? It started with an eerie greeting. You found it, the letter read. What the Browns read next made them feel chills. The note was left by the previous homeowner, and it's not a letter meant to welcome the new family. The letter was written to inform the next residents of the house about a toxic mold. Yes, you heard that right, mold. The previous homeowner disclosed a severe mold issue that had plagued their family, making their children incredibly sick and forcing them to abandon their home. Now, most mold is bad news, but black mold, particularly Stachybotrys, is notorious for its adverse health effects. Imagine the horror of the Brown family upon learning that a health hazard is literally in their walls. Upon opening the hidden and blocked room, they unknowingly exposed themselves to high levels of three dangerous types of mold, Stachybotrys, Penicillium, and Aspergillus. These molds are not only common in damp indoor environments, but are also harmful to human health. Prompted by the dire warning, the Browns had an environmental engineer take air quality samples, which confirmed the presence of these molds. Now, where does the responsibility of fault fall here? The previous homeowner? Not really, no. George Leventis, the previous owner of the house, shared that he left the letter as a warning in case the realtors failed to inform the next owners of the house about the mold. It was the right call. The realtors didn't inform the Brown family, which resulted in a horrifying experience and a lawsuit. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. A Redditor's Discovery in March 2013, a community on Reddit was ensnared by the story of a fellow Redditor, Lumberjack. It all began when the user, whom I'll refer to as Jack, decided to fix the hot water heater. His goal of restoring warm water in his new house led to a pretty terrifying investigation that he decided to share on the internet. His first posts included a hidden crawl space in his new home, where he found several bizarre items. The hidden space seemed to be well-maintained, complete with carpeting, and there was also a black painted door that was securely locked. Upon managing to open the door, Jack was greeted by an eerie sight. The interior was lined with soundproofing board and plastic tarp. Shady. Why would someone do this in the first place? The item stored inside fueled Jack's suspicion that something bizarre was going on. Among the discovered items was a large black sentry safe. Inside the safe, Alongside various valuables such as old wooden boxes, jewelry, and envelopes filled with paper money from different countries were six tapes. These tapes were quite horrifying and were labeled with dates from the mid-90s, with one ominously marked with no, 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 no. But that's not the end of it. One of the tapes had a note that read, Save Yourself. The internet watched as Jack promised to explore the contents of the tapes. However, Skeptics had already emerged, with some believing that Jack's narrative was a hoax created either for entertainment or as a clever publicity ploy for an upcoming movie. It was never confirmed, and many were left to speculate. Number 18. An Uninvited Roommate One of the things that I fear upon moving to a new big house is discovering that a stranger has been living with me secretly the entire time. Sounds like the plot of a horror or a thriller movie. But trust me, this can happen in real life. In fact, there have been several instances of this happening just like this one incident that occurred back in the fall of 2013. Several students at The Ohio State University had an unforgettable experience that fall, and it's not something positive. Quite the opposite, actually. 
they discovered a mysterious man named Jeremy living secretly inside their basement. Need I say more? Finding an unknown man living in your supposed safe space while you're away from home is terrifying. After thorough investigation, it was revealed that the supposed locked door in the basement actually concealed a utility closet where the man lived undetected. Needless to say, the students were shocked when their landlord's maintenance staff revealed a fully furnished bedroom suite behind it. Jeremy, who had a key and had been living there without the students' knowledge, turned out to be quite benign never disturbing their personal spaces or consuming their food. It was later understood that Jeremy could access the room and had a key because his cousin had lived in the house the previous year. Despite the fact that Jeremy vacated the premises immediately, this situation could have easily gone south. So a friendly reminder to tenants out there, you might want to discuss fitting new locks with your landlord for extra security. Number 17. The Disappointment Room Upon renovating their newly acquired home, Lori and Jeffrey DeMoss discovered something disheartening, a secret room, or more specifically, something that was called a disappointment room. The concept of a disappointment room dates back to the 19th century, a time when families hid away relatives with physical or mental disabilities. Out of sight and out of mind, the room was concealed behind a nondescript door that can easily be overlooked by anyone who's not actively looking for the door. This design was completely intentional to ensure that the occupants of the room would remain hidden and undetected by unsuspecting visitors. The DeMoss family couldn't help but wonder about the lives that were hidden away, the stories untold, and the spirits that might still linger in the four walls of the desolate room. Lori decided to dig deeper after reading about the grim history of the disappointment room. Needless to say, she decided to raise awareness after learning about it transforming a grim discovery into an opportunity to ensure history will never repeat itself. Number 16. Singer Castle On Dark Island in New York's St. Lawrence River is the Singer Castle. The history of this building goes back to 1905, when Frederick Gilbert Bourne, the fifth president of the Singer Sewing Machine Company, made it a mission to construct a magnificent structure. Unlike any typical mansion or castle, Singer Castle, originally known as The Towers, was inspired by Sir Walter Scott's novel Woodstock, leading to its unique Gothic revival design crafted by American Beaux Arts architect Ernest Flagg. The castle's creation involved transporting tons of granite and engaging Italian stonemasons. It boasted elaborate features, including secret passageways, a grand library, and a five-story clock tower rumored to be made of solid gold. Yes, solid gold. What's more astounding is the fact that Bourne never really intended this castle to become his permanent residence, but rather it was meant as a retreat, surprising his wife and children with this island hunting retreat. The castle's features are immense, ranging from boathouses that accommodated steamboats and yachts to a great hall adorned with medieval artifacts. Over the years, Singer Castle has seen several owners and has taken a few different forms including a stint as a religious organization before being open to the public for tours, and even overnight stays in its royal suite. Now, if you're interested in seeing one of the most interesting castles with cleverly hidden passageways, the Singer Castle Tour might be something for you. After all, the New York Times once called this place the Castle of Mysteries. And if you're into the paranormal, well, it's said that former President George H.W. Bush haunts the upstairs closet of the castle. However, whether this is a hoax or the truth is still very much up for debate. Number 15. A Mysterious Chapel A family's get-together turned into an all-out archaeological exploration in 2022. The Farla family were all gathered on Good Friday when they decided to finally investigate what's beneath the metal grid in their Telford home in Shropshire, England. The homeowners, then 52-year-old Pat and 43-year-old Diane, moved into the detached Victorian building four years ago. They immediately noticed a metal rectangle alongside one of the walls. They decided to remove it and saw that the hole was big enough to fit a couple of people. Since they were already in too deep, they decided to further explore the area. I must say, I admire their bravery. It was then that they found themselves inside a small, eerie cellar. It initially looked like a cellar, but the rusted, decaying cross and the bricks which resembled church pews said otherwise. Strangely enough, there were also hooks on the ceiling that looked like they were used to hang meat inside the quote-unquote chapel. I don't know about you, 
but that seems pretty suspicious to me. Amongst the decaying wood and metal were also old newspapers and bottles dating back to the 1930s. But that's not the end of it. Inside the small room was a single flight of stairs. It led to a passageway blocked by cardboard, and when they tore through it, they found themselves in the cupboard of the home's dining area. How cool is that? The Farla family made sure not to touch anything while exploring the entire area. Aside from removing the metal and the cardboard, they shared that they didn't touch anything, as they wanted to not only preserve the area out of respect for its past tenants, but also because they wanted a professional to look at the area to learn more about it. So what do we know now? Well, Richard Westwood Brooks, a historical documents expert for nearby Shropshire auctioneers Mullocks, claimed that if the deeds of the home are over 230 years old and the room dates back to the 1700s, there's a chance that the chapel they found was used as a Catholic hideaway. In this time period, people who were confirmed Catholics were usually persecuted for their faith. When it was first shared on the internet, many expressed their fascination and their envy. Not many people can share that they have a historically significant house. Number 14. A Doll and a Message Now, this isn't exactly a hidden room, but it might as well be for this doll. Just imagine renovating your home, tearing down walls because of a wiring issue, when suddenly you stumbled upon something that made your home a tad bit creepier. That's what happened to this man from the United Kingdom. His supposed small project turned out to be a horror discovery when he found a doll named Emily behind the drywall of his home. The homeowner found the doll sitting on a chair behind the wall. Alongside her was a letter that shared the doll's confession of ending the lives of the past homeowners because it found them too annoying. Needless to say, the man found this discovery amusing rather than horrifying. He claimed that rather than scaring him, the discovery was an amusing Easter egg. The previous homeowners most likely left the doll there as a joke. Well, I hope they were satisfied that their efforts didn't go unnoticed. Number 13. A letter from the last surviving member. Just as Courtney and Matt were settling into their newly bought home, they received a letter, an eerie letter that read, Let me introduce myself. I am the last surviving member of the Madison family who once owned the house, and I grew up in it. I would like to tell you about the secret rooms and a few things you may not have been told when you bought the house. It's phrased in a rather eerie manner, don't you think? While the pair didn't share the exact location of their home, they described it as a large Victorian-style property. First, they discovered a secret liquor cabinet above the fireplace in their front parlor. There, they found decades-old unopened bottles of French rosé wine from 1970 and Cabernet Sauvignon from 1989. The letter also advised them to open the secret room in the bathroom, and there they found a crawl space. What would you do if you discovered something like this in your home? Number 12. Eternal Neon Sign In 2012, workers renovating Clifton's cafeteria discovered something astounding, a neon light that had been left on for a staggering 77 years. Yes, you heard that right. This neon light remained shining for almost eight decades. It was discovered behind a small space in the women's bathroom, and quite frankly, it's astounding how the neon light remained unnoticed over the years. The neon lights might have been installed in 1935 after the building was bought and converted to a forest-themed dining establishment. It just so happened that someone forgot to unplug this neon light, resulting in an accumulated electric bill of a staggering $17,000. Number 11. Secret Passageway in 2021, Freddie Goodall, a young property developer from Brighton, England, discovered a secret passageway hidden behind a bookshelf in his family's 500-year-old home. This incredible find began when Freddie, poring over an 1870s photograph of the property, noticed a doorway that was not present in the current layout of the library. His curiosity piqued, he investigated the spot where the doorway once existed and found it concealed behind a bookshelf. Freddy first found a hole behind one of the books that allowed him to peek into the hidden room. Further exploration revealed a panel, which, upon removal, exposed a dark, empty space behind the bookshelf. But the surprises didn't stop there. Freddy also found a floor panel that led to an underground passageway, opening into a network of secret rooms and tunnels beneath the house. One room contained an old safe filled with books and letters dating to 1848, 
which provided insights into the house's history, as well as old school books and desks from when the property served as an educational institution in the 1900s. Who knows what else is hidden in the many rooms of this property? Number 10. Darren Kuyu In 1963, a man in the Nevsahir province decided to renovate his house. Little did he know, the simple act of knocking down a wall would reveal a historic discovery, particularly an underground city which is now known as Darren Kuyu. Darren Kuyu was once a city that housed 20,000 people. It's equipped with living quarters, communal spaces, stables, churches, and even wineries and oil presses, all carved out of stone with remarkable precision. The city spans an impressive 18 levels deep, some of which are accessible today. The entrances were designed to be concealed, only known to those who needed to find refuge during times of invasion or danger. Massive stone doors could be rolled across the entrances, sealing the city from threats. Its ventilation shafts, disguised and scattered throughout the city, ensured a fresh supply of air without revealing its location to enemies above. But why go to such lengths to build an underground city? Historians believe that the first inhabitants might have been seeking protection from the harsh weather and potential invaders. With no reason to hide, Darren Kuyu was naturally forgotten. Number 9. Someone might have been living here. Imagine finding a hidden room inside your home, and when you opened it, you found a sleeping bag, a black backpack, and some discarded food. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a clear sign to me that someone has been living in my house without my knowledge. This is exactly what a family found in their New York home in 2023. They shared their discoveries on Reddit, and many were immediately scared for their safety. However, an item they discovered lessened the family's suspicions about a person frogging in their home. Among the random things in the crawl space was a calendar from 1980, complete with a cute design. The daughter of the new homeowner had a theory that makes sense. She claimed that the crawl space wasn't a hiding place of a stranger, but rather belonged to one of the kids of the past homeowners. It's likely that this crawl space was used as a hiding place by the homeowner's children stashing away everything they didn't want their parents to see. Number 8. Basement Beneath the Basement Alexandra Paulos of Lonsdown, Pennsylvania uncovered something astonishing beneath their home, a potential part of the Underground Railroad. This unexpected discovery was made in 2016. Alexandra claimed that as a child, she often had dreams of having a white colonial-style home and finding random rooms in her house. Who would have thought that this would turn into reality years later? Alexandra was transferred the title of the property when her father left them. She decided to rent it out, and everything went smoothly until random things began breaking into the home's basement. First, it was an old cast-iron sewer pipe, then an oil tank. The problems progressed until they couldn't be ignored. Alexandra, upon the request of her tenant, had the place inspected after noticing cracks in the basement walls. It was then that an old memory surfaced. She recalled her father telling her a story from her childhood. Their neighbors, who had lived in the neighborhood much longer than them, would often talk about a basement beneath their basement. It sounded eerie, but the truth of these words dawned on Alexandra the day she visited the basement and saw the cracks. Beneath the basement, indeed, lay another basement. It was about 14 feet deep and 15 feet long. Many believe it was part of an underground railroad in the past but this was never confirmed. Number 7. A Family's Hiding Space Now here's quite an interesting find that unfolded thanks to another discovery. Between 2000 and 2002, over 1,000 ancient manuscripts disappeared from the serene Mont Santo de Abbey nestled in France. Naturally, this garnered the suspicion of the monks. Despite the frequent disappearance of books inside the library, nothing else was lost outside of it and there were no signs of someone breaking into the abbey either. Any guesses how they did it? If he had guessed a hidden room, you'd be right. Despite changing locks and enhancing security, the thefts persisted. Everyone was perplexed until a chance discovery of a hidden room behind a bookshelf revealed a secret passage. The thief turned out to be someone completely unexpected. The culprit turned out to be Stanislas Goss, a professor with a passion for ancient text would utilize this passage to steal the books, driven by a desire to study them, not sell them. He was eventually caught, and remarkably, 
tasked with aiding in the restoration and cataloging of the very text he'd stolen, after all were recovered unharmed. Well, I guess that's a win for him in the end. Number 6. Secret Meetings Now, the discovery of this hidden passageway led to heartbreak and deceit. This really sounds like something out of a telenovela. In 2020, a man who was only known as Antonio, a bricklayer by profession, crafted an elaborate underground tunnel leading directly to the house of his married mistress, Pamela. This secret passageway, which spanned several streets beneath the town of Villas del Prado, Tijuana, was ingeniously designed to facilitate their clandestine meetings, particularly when Pamela's husband, Jorge, was at work. However, their affair came to a dramatic head when Jorge returned home unexpectedly, stumbled upon the entrance to the tunnel under the bed, and followed it back to Antonio's house. The fitting of a cliché and rather immoral story, what followed was something straight out of a movie. What followed was a confrontation that escalated into a physical altercation between the two men. The situation escalated to the point where Antonio's wife called the police upon witnessing the fight. I have to say, Antonio probably should have exerted the energy he used to dig the tunnel into something more productive. Number 5. 70-year-old abandoned room in Paris. Imagine stepping into a room that's been untouched for 70 years. That's exactly the experience people had when this sealed chamber in Paris was revealed. This apartment has been abandoned since World War II. This room used to belong to the granddaughter of Parisian socialite and actress Marta de Florian. As war loomed over Paris, she was forced to flee her home and leave it unattended for about 70 years. Despite the fact that she never came back to see the apartment, she continued paying for it, not for weeks, not for months, but for decades. Payments were made until her death at the age of 91. This apartment was open to be inspected, and those who laid their eyes on its interior couldn't believe what they were seeing. The apartment, while messy, was filled with the most luxurious and beautiful furniture. Among the dust-covered furniture and objects, the standout find was a painting by Giovanni Boldini, a renowned 19th-century Italian painter. This painting, believed to be a portrait of Marta de Florian at the age of 24, was discovered along with love letters exchanged between de Florian and Boldini. Now that's a scoop! With how sensational and rare this painting is, it easily fetched the price of approximately $3.4 million. Now let me ask you a question. Do you think this apartment should have been kept sealed and preserved? Or do you think it was only right that these treasures were revealed to the world? Let me know in the comments down below. Number 4. Hidden Room in the Johnstown Castle Nestled in the lush green landscape of County Wexford, Ireland, is the Johnstown Castle. Back in the day, this place was an incredibly magnificent sight. I mean, just imagine walking through vast grounds with over 50 acres of ornamental gardens, complete with sculpted walks, terraces, and a lake so serene it could mirror the sky. This castle was built in the 19th century and was the brainchild of the Grogan family. The surrounding area of the castle is grand, and its interior was no less impressive. Rooms were adorned with period furniture and art collections. Just recently, restorations were done to the castle, and it was then that the secret room was revealed. Experts were quite surprised by the discovery, claiming that what they found was a rare and unexpected find. But what exactly is the purpose of this hidden room? Well, experts believe that it's for something tragic. What exactly? Archaeologists are yet to know about it. The original castle dates back about 850 years ago, and it served a rotation of aristocratic families before it was taken by the Irish state in 1945. Tracing the exact purpose of this secret room and which family ordered for its creation is a difficult task. Some people, however, believe that perhaps this room should have just remained hidden, preserved, and never opened. But what do you think? Number 3. The Many Rooms of H.H. H. Holmes at first glance, this building, owned by H.H. H. Holmes, functioned as a hotel, welcoming visitors to the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. However, beneath its inviting facade lay a labyrinth of nightmares. You see, this is the hotel that you never want to step foot in. Holmes had a twisted imagination, or should I say, he had twisted dreams. The entire building is filled with rooms that can easily end the life of an unsuspecting guest. Walls that could suffocate, 
Gas lines leading into sealed chambers to asphyxiate the unsuspecting, and trap doors that open to reveal steep chutes, sending bodies directly into the basement. The basement itself was a scene from a horror story, equipped with a dissecting table, a crematorium, and vats of acid. Holmes exploited these tools to dispose of his victim's remains, leaving little evidence of his crimes. It's estimated that Holmes claimed the lives of as many as 200 individuals, though the exact number remains shrouded in mystery. I don't know about you, but this is among the reasons why I'm not inclined to visit mystery houses or escape rooms. You'll never really know when a repeat of this could happen. Number 2. Doors Made to Order Perhaps those who have secret rooms at home want this company to remain hidden. Have you ever wanted to have your own base? Well, these people are making many people's dreams into reality by creating the perfect motorized door for their lair or their hideouts. Whether you're a huge fan with a lot of money or a politician, these guys can create the perfect door to conceal a crawl space or an entire meeting room for you. These rooms might look ordinary, but hidden in these photos are entryways to secret rooms. How cool is that? Well, if I ever get the money, this seems like a fun project to invest in. And now, it's time for today's topic. Children are natural explorers. They're curious, and they have enough energy to burn to go pretty much anywhere their feet can take them. With that being said, it's not surprising that this little girl discovered something hidden that most people would fail to notice. Yes, this little girl found a secret room in her house that led to an even wilder surprise. You wouldn't expect what this little girl discovered in her bedroom, a hidden door. And when she opened it, she found the most unexpected things, an entire treasure trove of different items. I bet you are expecting something horrifying, but don't worry. The story of this little girl is quite different. The secret crawl space in her room was filled with earrings, necklaces, and other small trinkets. Well, isn't that a wonderful surprise for a young child? It's definitely a core memory for the young girl. Number 1. Missing Room of Banff Springs Hotel Did you know that there is a missing room in the Banff Springs Hotel? Yes, you heard that right. The Banff Springs Hotel in Alberta, Canada is among the most renowned establishments in the region, erected in 1888 amidst the breathtaking vistas. It has a long history and has had the privilege of hosting several renowned figures from celebrities to royalty. However, among the lesser-known stories of the hotel is the alleged hidden room, a room with a story so grim that it may or may not have inspired a famous horror movie. Legend has it, a horrifying tragedy unfolded within room 873 in the hotel. The story goes that a man, driven to the brink of insanity, ended the life of his wife and daughter in this very room before succumbing as well. After this incident, the room was cleaned and reopened to guests. However, it wasn't long until reports about paranormal incidents flooded the crew. Despite efforts to close and seal room 873, guests and some staff members have reported encounters with the unseen. Of course, there are also skeptics who believe that this story is simply a hoax created to capture the attention of many. One thing is for sure, room 873 was once non-existent in Banff Springs. Whether the alleged reason for its closure is true or not, well, that's a different story. There are a lot of things that come with moving into a new place, huh? Perhaps some of you have had a horror movie-like experience that you'd like to share. If so, feel free to do so in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.